All right guys, so today we're gonna be doing a traffic case replacement. And uh, basically, there we go. Okay, so traffic is replacement. Loosen up the uh, sauce, two volts, the sensor, the sensor, the sauce. Now coming back, there's a bracket that goes right here. We'll remove that. We gotta remove this so that the sauce will fall off and we can take it out of the way. And then after that we gotta take the dry shafts off. The one here and the front dry shaft. So this dry shaft we gotta take it off. And then this one right here, we gotta take it off. So let me get the sauce out of the way. Start taking the dry shaft off and we go from there. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, so the exhaust is out. Uh, we're gonna be taking the dry shaft off. That's what the bolts look like. And then we have the uh, half shaft mount, which is bad on this one. And we're gonna be taking it off the diff, the three bolts. So we can have the dry shaft off completely and then we can start doing the motor mount and the transmission mount and all that stuff so let me get the dry shaft off and I'll let you know that's what that looks like alright be right back alright so we have these bolts off they did not come off fully all the way so they're just gonna sit there so we're gonna be taking out the dry shaft over here and then the center piece right here. And then we already loosen up uh, this one. You don't have to take it all the way out. We have to just take the bolts out and let it loose. That way you can take the crush member off. Like the traffic case. So now we're going to be taking this off, that off. So then, then we can take the the uh, motor mount, the transmission mount. We are back. Alright guys, so basically we already removed the traffic case as you can see. So I'm going to show you guys where the bolts are so you can not get lost. These bolts right here are going to be the uh, traffic case mount or training mount. It has two bolts, 18, one on this side and one on the other side. Then you have the traffic case itself. So you got this one bolt here in the center, right there. Then you have, on top you have this one, you have that one, you have this one right here, you have another one right here, and two on the bottom. Okay, those two open holes right there on the bottom. Then after that, uh, Basically, you gotta start wiggling a little bit because it has uh, silicone. Let me show you the front. So, it has a gasket, which has silicone at the same time. So, you gotta wiggle it a little bit so it don't break. Try to see if you can reuse the gasket. Now all we're gonna be doing is putting uh, silicone on it again. So we can try to save that gasket. And other than that, we're going to be putting the new one back in. And that's it. We're going to clean up the surface here a little bit, which is pretty clean. But as you can see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts. We're going to put in the new one in and start assembling everything back together. So let me get to that. We'll be right back. So we change the uh, balance. Uh, we clean up this thing a little bit. Um, don't forget the, the pinholes. It has two pinholes. Make sure that we clean them. And that's it. We're gonna clean it up. 
we're gonna put some silicone on it and we're gonna put everything back together. Alright, I'll get back to you. bushing here so we're gonna have to order that and another day to assemble this thing again to be able to take the bushing but all in that yeah, we just gotta keep on putting things apart so all right so they're back on use the issue that bushing right there And then we got the dry shaft put back on. So now we're gonna be putting the exhaust and the uh, yep, the exhaust, and we should be able to check the level of fluid and find out if we need to add some and we'll come there. Alright, we're back. 